Hello my festive peeps! I hope you are all excited for Christmas because that's what this video is gonna be about. I'm gonna take you out and we're gonna have a day filled with little pre-Christmas adventures. Uh, the first one of them is gonna be this very impressive hot chocolate which is from Mupai Gelato. Um, it's kind of cold so it's not quite gelato weather but thankfully they fill that niche with um, amazing choices of hot chocolate. They do have caramelized white, they have malted milk and this dark one, which I'm gonna try for the first time ever now. It does come with a uh, toasted marshmallow fluff on top and uh, that's probably gonna get stuck on my face and then I'm gonna wax all of my mustache off. Um, mm. Oh, it's good. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna dig, <laughs> dig for victory with vim and vigor. Do you also like to go to the military museum in London? Because I clearly do. Um, this definitely has cat's festive seal of approval. But if you want to super duper treat yourself and you do have 40 or 80 pounds spare, then I recommend you pop over to the Dome, which you probably know as the one building in Edinburgh that really just like lights up for Christmas. It is great for taking pictures of it, but it's also great to have drinks in it. And this time of year, you can also get your little Christmassy morning tea, as in afternoon tea, but it's usually in the AM and it comes with all sorts of Christmas inspired treats. Let's have a look what they have to offer. And next on the agenda is going to be the Christmas markets. And this year they are a bit different than what we usually get because um, in the past we would get that like top layer and under it would be like the Santa's Grotto and kind of like the part that's meant more for families with younger kids. This year you have this bit on top kind of close to Scott's Monument which is more for like adults. Uh, there's a lot of like cute little shops and uh, crowds and booze and uh, some of the more thrilly rides. And then the other part moved to the other side of Princess Street, which I think is quite a nice new thing. I also think that the placement is actually really kind of idyllic and pretty because it's just under the castle. It's just around that fountain that everyone likes to take photographs of. And you know, overall you have like these two bits that have a very different vibe without people trying to like smoosh them both into one. And then there's the extra one bonus, which is the ice rink area that's on the kind of like further end of George Street. It's called Little on Ice. So my guess on who sponsors that uh, is probably quite clear. But um, as you are, I wouldn't say littling, but I want to say ice skating. Uh, <laughs> As you're ice skating, there's a lot of kind of like um, like cheese toasties available for you to buy and uh, hot drinks and malt wine, all of that. And um, as I mentioned before, it's right next to Scottish Design Exchange where you can buy my goods. So yes, we are going to go and have a look at those now. Yay!
now we are still full of our brunch from the dome, so it's time to do some fun festive activities. I have two of them for you to choose from. Uh, you can do both, just like we're gonna or you can just pick one depending on the weather. So the first one is the more indoorsy one, which is uh, you can pop to John Lewis and browse their traditionally horrible Christmas decorations. I do not understand how a shop like John Lewis comes up with... I'm looking for a word that I don't have to bleep out, but it... <laughs> <laughs> they are fascinating. We did buy some really stupid looking ones for our tree and uh, we love them. So that's one activity for you. The other one is a bit more romantic. You can have a nice little stroll through, um, I would recommend Newtown and Stockbridge. If you want to see people's amazing decorations for this season, people are really going all in here in Britain. You can really like see people's trees and appreciate them and people put them up you know around almost you know like first of december it obviously gets a bit more colorful and fun towards actual christmas but um you know don't be dissuaded if it's still quite early in the month there's going to be a lot of decorations for you to enjoy so yeah let's do those two things together now So now, after this amazing walk and uh, also viewing some stupid looking ornaments, it's time for some drinks and some treats. And the perfect place for that this year is the Cask Smugglers, who have a bar on top of Waverly Mall. And a new thing that they introduced for this winter are these little like domes, which is just the perfect way of I mean, avoiding other people that you don't know and might be unsafe, and also avoiding the elements here in Scotland. And the great thing is that they are placed perfectly for you to have nice views of the Balmoral Hotel and the castle, and honestly, all of that. <laughs> they apparently serve amazing local produce. Uh, they source it from places like Room and Rumors and the Ban Mi Bar, and obviously they have their own great cocktails. So we're gonna go and check that out now.
And so we made it back home and we are fully Christmas out. Now I'm feeling like I maybe should have saved some of the Christmasiness for actual Christmas. Uh, if you're hearing some Christmasy noises, that's the kitty who has a new jingle bell on him. He doesn't want to come over. He wants to sit on my chair because it's warm from my butt. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little outing with us. Uh, maybe you got inspired about what to do in Edinburgh when you're visiting in this pre-Christmas period. Um, let us know in the comments below if you can think of more Christmassy things to do, because maybe, you know, some of these things are not for everyone. Maybe you might have better ideas for people who don't want to go to the markets or don't want to stroll around Newtown. Uh, maybe they want to like have a festive cheese toasty from Melissa's Cheesemongers um, in Stockbridge or Victoria Street. That's one thing that we really wanted to make a part of this video, but then we never had time to kind of like fit in a whole cheese toasty, which is tragic. Well, maybe we will still find some time to do that in the run up to Christmas. If I end up having the cheese toasty though, I will definitely post about it on my Instagram. That would be on Kaki blog. And I also have another account which is called Kaki Bot, just like this one, and that's where I post my art. So first one for cheese toasties, the second one for art. <laughs> Make your pick. Anyway, thank you so much for joining us. Hopefully you enjoyed this little gallivant through Edinburgh before Christmas, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs>